Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamel Green, also known as the Digital Midwife. And in today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to create retractable banners in Canva. So let's get started. One thing I like to mention whenever you're getting ready to DIY your retractable banners is to make sure that you understand where you're going to print the banner because that's very important. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to print for Vistaprint, okay? Now, there are so many different places, even locally, that you can print your retractable banners. But before you create them in Canva, make sure that you know where you're going to print them so that you know the dimensions of what you're going to print in, okay? Because that's going to be very, very important when it comes time to actually customize your size in Canva, okay? All right. So, with that being said, let's talk about what retractable banners are used for. As you can see behind me, I have a couple of different banners up. And as you can see, most of these are for authors because this is a very good way for authors to kind of showcase their product, their books, and things like that. And in this day and time, within, with the um, heavy use of QR codes, people are starting to add QR codes to their banners and things like that. And you know you can do that inside of Canva as well, right? So don't take it lightly when you get ready to design your retractable banner, okay? Because it really makes a, um, a big impact. There's a little thing that makes a big impact. And so you want to make sure that you understand why you're doing it or if you're going to get someone else to do it, okay? But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do it, okay? So as I stated before, we're going to um, design this particular banner for Vistaprint, okay? So as you can see, I've already logged into my account and um, I'm going to navigate over to retractable banners. So you just go and find signs and banners. And this is what you do no matter where you're printing your banner, okay? Because whether you're doing a UPS or got prints or whatever, so a local place or anything like that, they will hopefully have a um, online place where you can actually, you know, design and things like that. So you're going to go down to retractable banners. Let's see. I need to let's close myself out so I can see. There we go. Retractable banners. So once you get here, remember I said you need to look at the dimensions, right? We want to do a single sided in this particular one. Now you can do double sided if you like to, but for this one, we're going to do single sided. And as you can see, double sided is actually out of stock. All right. So then it has cassette and I'm just going to do standard, just, just regular standard, just regular standard. And as you can see, once I clicked on standard, it changed the different dimensions that were available in that particular size. So I'm going to choose a 33 by 81 because that's the one I normally choose. And then again, it changed the material so I can only choose premium. There used to be an economy one, but I'm not sure exactly why it's gone. Sometimes it pops back. Then sometimes it's like this and it's not there. Okay. But as you can see, it's $150 for you to actually print it out so what you want to do once you figure out the design you're going to go inside of canva and actually design it and then you're going to upload it here you're going you're going to look at upload design now again if you don't want to do canva that's fine you can just browse the designs that they have but um canva actually has some tem templates too that i think you would really like more than the ones that are here so you can click on upload your design. I'll actually show you how to upload the design once we go into Canva. Okay. So let's get the dimensions again. 33, 80, 33 by 81. I'm going to go into my Canva account and I'm going to create a design and I'm going to use custom size. Okay. You just navigate down to custom size. And then you see, I already have popped it in here, 33 by 81. And here, normally it has pixels there, but we want to do inches, okay? So for this design, you want to do inches, 33 by 81. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, that with Canva, this is probably the highest size that you can do because when you're actually working in um, doing like really big designs, um, Canva is not, I guess, equipped for, you know, something like a billboard or something like that so this is the the biggest thing i think i've done in canva is just doing a, a banner it prints really really well okay so i'm going to click on create a new new design then it's going to pop open 
And as you can see, it's kind of hard to see the whole thing, right? That 10%. But what you can do over here is just look at some of these designs. Now, of course, these are not necessarily banner designs, okay? Right? I think a lot of these are like infographics. But you can look over here to find um, some type of template or something like that, okay? For today's purposes, I am going to use a template. So for today's purposes, I chose this particular template, right? I love how bright it is. This red is really going to pop if you were to print this out. And that's another thing. You want to make sure that you're using, if you're using your brand colors, right? Or if you're not using just like in a color just for that particular event, use a color that's going to pop, right? If you have a white background, of course, any color is going to pop on that white background. But sometimes if you want to really make a true statement, you need something like this that's really, really going to pop. But again, you have to make sure that you're designing for your audience for that particular event or whatever it is you're designing your um, banner for. OK, so I'm just going to I'm not going to design anything in here. I customize it, but I do want to bring your attention to certain things that are actually going to be something you need to pay attention to whenever you're designing it. OK, of course, with a template, it has things already in place so you can actually just, you know, just change the names out, whatever, you know, the text and the pictures and things like that. But I want you to notice how things are placed. OK, so, for instance, this right here is placed and is outside of the uh, area that's going to be like the printing area. You see how this purple box has now come up. Right. So that's really the kind of area you want to keep things in. But this right here is meant to kind of hang off. Right. So knowing that, you know, it's going to bleed a little bit. You want to make sure that it's going to bleed into the sides. If you ever see that, that's what they're talking about. Um, it's going to go off into the to the corners of the edges of the of the actual banner. So if that's what you intend for, then that's good. But if it's some, if it's like something like this, you want to make sure that it's not hanging over there because that's just not right, right? So you want to make sure that it's kind of, you know, in the middle. Let me just undo that so we can get right back over to where it needs to be. Okay, so that's that. There is kind of like a printing area. Um, you want to make sure that you're in that um, area, that little box that came up. This one is not coming up like I needed to because I guess it's um it has this box right here. Let's let me just move this for a minute. Okay, you see when I move that the, the box that comes up on the side, let me move it again. All right, you just kind of have to maneuver it a little bit and it's gonna come up and you see those the purple sides. If I go up, let's bring this back down. If I go up, it'll do it again. OK, it brought it up again. So it has at the top of the document, you see there has it has a boundary there as well. So you just want to make sure that you're staying within those boundaries when you're trying to um, create your design. So I'm not going to actually design it. I'm just going to I just want to kind of show you those highlights to make sure that you leave in space for printing down here. So don't put anything in this area and not in that area either and paying attention to the sides. OK. All right. So now what you want to make sure this just pretend that we've already designed this to our liking and you want to make sure that you download it. OK, this is going to be very important. You do not want to download this as a um, PNG file or JPEG file. You want to download this as a PDF print file. Just as a rule of thumb. Downloading things as a PDF print file when you get ready to print something is always a good rule of thumb of what I do in my business. So you're going to go down to share and then you're going to go to download. OK, and right here is where you can change your file type. And I'm going to click here and go down to pretty PDF print file. And that's best for printing. OK, so I'm going to download that file and then I'm going to show you how to upload it to Vistaprint. One thing I need to mention when I'm talking about downloading is when you choose the PDF print file, there is also another thing that you can actually do now. It's called RGB Best for Digital Use. And then you can click on it and you can see the CMYK Best for Professional Printing. So this, as you can see, it has a little crown there. So anytime you see anything in Canva that has the crown there, you have to have a Canva 
Pro account, okay? So I'm going to click this because I'm going to be printing this, right? So now I'm going to download it. Okay, so I'm going back to my Vista print account, and now I'm going to go to upload design because I have my design that I'm going to upload. Okay, so I'm going to upload it, go and find it. Okay, so I have uploaded the design here, and you see it fits perfectly. It shows you, see the blue around it, lets you know that it fits in. It even gives you that dotted white line to let you see what's going to be cut off. Okay, so as you can see, the fork is going to be cut off a little bit, but it still gives that uh, what it needs to give, right? So um, once I figure that part out, um, make sure all that is done and everything is where it needs to be, then I'm going to I'm going to click next up here at the top right corner. And then it asks you a couple of questions. Design review, all set. Let's double check. Is, is the text clear and legible? Are the margins correct? You know, all these different things. If so, click I reviewed and approve my design. And you can click continue. Now, of course, when it says edit my design, a PDF file is a finished file. So if you want to change something, if something is hanging off, then you actually have to go back to Canva to actually change something, okay? You cannot go back, you can't edit this design because it's, remember, it's a finished product. So once you upload it to um, Vistaprint, it's done, right? So again, if you wanna change something, you have to go back into Canva and change it and then re-upload the new file, all right? So once my design, if I love it and I'm ready for it, this is good. Then I'm just going to continue with it, you know, order it. And it's going to offer you some other things too. If you like what you see, then of course go for it. But if not, just get your banner. Plenty of times Vistaprint usually gives a lot of discounts um, whenever you're getting ready to print things out. Um, so just, you know, of course, again, this is what I'm recommending, but this is not the only place that you can get them printed. But be sure that before you actually design it, that you figure out the dimensions of where you're going to get it printed, because that's going to make all the difference. OK, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to um, comment, like and subscribe. I, I love to see the comments because it allows me to know if I'm, you know, training you well, teaching you well, giving you, you know, really good prompts and, you know, saying the things I need to say in order for you to have your questions answered. So. I love to see the comments. If you can say something to me, let me know how you loved it, liked it, didn't like it or whatever. Just say something in the comments. Okay. All right. Tune in to the next video and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks again.